Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I wanted to share with you a really awesome trick that I've found on how you can access additional TV shows and movies and subgenres that you may not even know exist on your Netflix account. So if you want to see the full list of the Netflix codes, I'll have a link down below in the video description to my website. Or alternatively, you can go to flicks.tools forward slash codes and you can follow along and get the full list of all the codes um, that you'll see in this video. So as you can see guys, as I'm scrolling down, um, there's heaps of kind of ma major categories such as classic movies, action and adventure. But if you go down into these subgenres, we've got spy action and adventure, action thrillers, Asian action movies, um, comic book and superhero movies, and if I keep scrolling down, as you can see guys, there's just so much out there that you can watch. So just to show you guys an example of this, let's just say I want to go watch a movie under the action and adventure category and say I want to watch a Western. So I can just go click on this link. It will open Netflix in a new tab and it will automatically take me to this subgenre. So as you can see guys, I've now got Hateful Eight available, um, which is a great um, Quentin Tarantino movie. We've got Unforgiven, uh, Wild Wild West, The Ridiculous Six, and we've got a few others as well. And for myself personally, I actually didn't know that most of these movies were even on Netflix. So you really do kind of have to go out of your way and use kind of one of these cheat sheet codes um, to kind of see what's actually on the platform. So I'll just show you guys another example of this. Let's just say I wanted to go watch a classic movie. I'm in the mood for watching um, some sci-fi. So I can just go again and click on this one and this will open me into another tab. So now we've got um, Jurassic Park and that actually seems to be the only kind of subcategory for that uh, particular code. So this can kind of happen. There might only be one movie or and sometimes no movies depending on where you are in the world as each kind of different version of Netflix has slightly different movies and TV shows available. So if I scroll down a little bit to comedies, maybe I want to go watch a dark comedy, I can go click on this code. And again, this will open me to Netflix. And as you can see, guys, I've now got Ted, um, Shaun of the Dead, Hangover, Hot Fuzz, um, Baby Driver, I, Tonya, um, some really noticeable movies here which are really, really um, awesome to watch. And you've also got Lock, Stock and Smoking Barrels which is also another awesome title as well. And if I keep scrolling down a little bit further guys, as you can see we've got dramas, horror movies, uh, romantic movies, sci-fi and fantasy. And this is actually one of my uh, favourite categories as I'm a huge sci-fi fan. And then you've got all these kind of subgenres, um, cult sci-fi, fantasy movies, um, sci-fi, horror movies as well. So this really does allow you to kind of watch the movies that you're personally interested in. And another thing I'll actually show you guys um, while you're here is that when you use this in conjunction with a VPN, you actually can even unlock kind of heaps of other movies that you may not be able to find in your particular uh, location. Uh, so the VPN I like to use for this method is NordVPN. So I've already gone ahead and logged into my account and I'm actually located in Australia. So this means I miss out on heaps of movies um, so I can go and connect to the United States. So I can access that version of Netflix. I'll go click on the US. And if you guys are looking to get started with NordVPN, I'll have a link down below in the video description if you want to check them out. And as you can see guys, that's now highlighted in green so this means I'm connected. So now I can go back over this same list and I'll actually be, get, I'll actually be getting um, kind of new content available as I'll be accessing a different version of Netflix. So just say I want to go to comedies, I can go to anime comedies and this will open me up in that version of Netflix. And I can even go ahead and repeat this same process. Say for example, I want to watch the South Korean version of Netflix, the Japanese version of Netflix. I can repeat the same process and really use um, this kind of codes list to unlock so many kind of extra titles that um, you might not even know about so that are on Netflix. So as you can see guys, um, we've got One Punch Man and heaps of like notable anime um, TV shows as well. So there you have it guys, that's just a really quick way on how you can use these codes for your Netflix account. And you actually can use this on mobile as well. So if you go to flicks.tools forward slash codes on your mobile uh, phone device and just click on one of these links, as long as you have the Netflix app open on your smartphone device, 
it will automatically open you onto the app on your smartphone. Uh, but from what I can tell, you actually can't use this on Apple TV, Fire Stick, or any of those other devices, which is unfortunate. Um, but if you guys have found a method on how to find these subcategories on kind of smart TVs and those kind of things, then please feel free to share down below as I'd be really interested to see um, if anyone's kind of found a way around that. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And again, if you are looking to see these codes, then don't forget to check out my website down below in the video description. And if this video has been helpful for you, then please smash the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next.